Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to give a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to change uh, a bit or an accessory uh, in a Dremel tool. And I'm going to demonstrate this on my Dremel 8220, which is a cordless Dremel tool. Um, and some people refer to these as bits, some people refer to them as accessories. And I'm going to be using for this demonstration, um, this accessory here, this is the 8193 uh, bit from Dremel. And this is an aluminum oxide grinding stone. Um, and I have a lot of other Dremel videos. Uh, if you want to learn about the specific accessories and attachments uh, for the Dremel tool, I'm going to link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time and want to learn more about the Dremel accessories and attachments, please check that playlist out. Okay, before we begin, before you ever use your Dremel tool, make sure that you've read through the operating and safety instructions and understand them completely uh, for your Dremel tool. These will tell you everything that you need to know on how to use your Dremel tool both safely and properly. Also, make sure you're always wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles, and make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, so before we do anything with the Dremel tool, you need to make sure that it's both off and unplugged. Or if you have a cordless Dremel tool like this one, make sure to remove the battery if it's removable. And in the Dremel 8220, uh, the battery is removable. So I'm just going to remove the battery from the Dremel tool now. Um, we've already verified that it's off, and now we're ready to install an accessory. Okay, so now that we've verified that the Dremel tool is both off and we've removed the battery, um, or if you have a, a corded Dremel, make sure that it's off and unplugged, uh, we can uh, begin to install the accessory into the Dremel tool. Um, so there's this blue button right here, and this is the lock button that locks the shaft so we can loosen up the collet nut here and then be able to install the accessory. Um, I have the wrench tool here. There's two different ways to um, loosen up the collet nut. You can use the easy twist nose cap if your Dremel tool has it, uh, or the wrench tool. I have a video that shows how to use the easy twist nose cap, and if you're interested, that video will be in the playlist um, that I link at the end of this video. So if you're interested in watching that and learning about how the easy twist nose cap works, uh, please check that playlist out. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the wrench tool. So I'm just going to hold down the lock button, and then I'm going to use the wrench tool here uh, to get a hold of the collet nut, and then just start to turn this uh, counterclockwise until it loosens up there a little bit. And then once it's loosened a little bit, uh, still holding down the lock button, uh, but you can start to loosen this more by hand um, until the collet inside of the collet nut um, is opened up enough that you can put the accessory in like so. And when you install the accessory, uh, you do want to make sure that you install it all the way down like this. Um, you know, if you um, installed it like something like this, for instance, um, it just keeps the, the accessory out of balance um, and is also dangerous because there's not as much of the, um, uh, the shank of the accessory being held by the Dremel tool. Um, so you do want to make sure that you install this all the way down like this when you do uh, put in an accessory. Now we're going to hold down the lock button. And I'm going to twist the collet nut uh, clockwise by hand just to get it hand tight. Um, and then once we get it hand tight while still holding down the lock button, uh, I'm going to use the wrench tool to get it all the way tight like so. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to remove the accessory from the Dremel tool. Um, and we're going to make sure that the Dremel tool is both off and unplugged, or if you have a cordless model like this one, Make sure that the Dremel tool is off and remove the battery if the battery is removable. Um, and then we're going to hold down the lock button and I'm going to use the wrench tool here and I'm going to um, uh, put that around the collet nut and then we're going to uh, turn counterclockwise and that starts to loosen up the collet nut like so. Um, and then we can loosen it up by hand here like this and then we can take the accessory out like so. 
All right, guys, well, that was it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful. And like I said earlier, I do have other Dremel videos that I'm going to link in a playlist at the end of this video. So if you're interested and have time and want to learn more about the Dremel tool, please check that playlist out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.